In quantum mechanics, a parity transformation also called parity inversion is the flip in the sign of one spatial coordinate. In three dimensions, it can also refer to the simultaneous flip in the sign of all three spatial coordinates a point reflection p x y z minus x minus y minus z Display style math BF P begin P matrix X Y Z end P matrix Mapsto begin P matrix X Y Z end P matrix. It can also be thought of as a test for chirality of a physical phenomenon, in that a parity inversion transforms a phenomenon into its mirror image. All fundamental interactions of elementary particles, with the exception of the weak interaction, are symmetric under parity. The weak interaction is chiral and thus provides a means for probing chirality in physics. In interactions that are symmetric under parity, such as electromagnetism in atomic and molecular physics, parity serves as a powerful controlling principle underlying quantum transitions. A matrix representation of P in any number of dimensions has determinant equal to minus 1, and hence is distinct from a rotation, which has a determinant equal to 1. In a two-dimensional plane, a simultaneous flip of all coordinates in sign is not a parity transformation, it is the same as a 180 degrees rotation. In quantum mechanics, wave functions which are unchanged by a parity transformation are described as even functions, while those which change sign under a parity transformation are odd functions. <laughs> Simple symmetry relations. Under rotations, classical geometrical objects can be classified into scalars, vectors, and tensors of higher rank. In classical physics, physical configurations need to transform under representations of every symmetry group. Quantum theory predicts that states in a Hilbert space do not need to transform under representations of the group of rotations, but only under projective representations. The word projective refers to the fact that if one projects out the phase of each state, where we recall that the overall phase of a quantum state is not an observable, then a projective representation reduces to an ordinary representation. All representations are also projective representations, but the converse is not true, therefore the projective representation condition on quantum states is weaker than the representation condition on classical states. The projective representations of any group are isomorphic to the ordinary representations of a central extension of the group. For example, projective representations of the three-dimensional rotation group, which is the special orthogonal group SO are ordinary representations of the special unitary group SU see representation theory of SU Projective representations of the rotation group that are not representations are called spinors, and so quantum states may transform not only as tensors but also as spinors. If one adds to this a classification by parity, these can be extended, for example, into notions of scalars p. Topic plus one and pseudoscalars p. Minus one, which are rotationally invariant. Vectors p. Topic minus one and axial vectors, also called pseudo vectors p. Plus one, which both transform as vectors under rotation. One can define reflections such as v x x y. Z minus x y z display style v underscore x begin p matrix x y z end p matrix mapsto begin p matrix x y z end p matrix, which also have negative determinant and form a valid parity transformation. Then, combining them with rotations or successively performing x, y, and z reflections one can recover the particular parity transformation defined earlier. The first parity transformation given does not work in an even number of dimensions, though, because it results in a positive determinant. In odd number of dimensions only the latter example of a parity transformation or any reflection of an odd number of coordinates can be used. Parity forms the abelian group z 2 
Display style math b z underscore two. Due to the relation p caret two equals one caret display style hat math call p caret two equals hat one. All abelian groups have only one-dimensional irreducible representations. For z two display style math b z underscore two there are two irreducible representations one is even under parity p caret phi equals plus phi display style hat math call p phi equals plus phi the other is odd p caret phi equals minus Phi display style hat math call p phi equals phi. These are useful in quantum mechanics. However, as is elaborated below, in quantum mechanics, states need not transform under actual representations of parity, but only under projective representations, and so, in principle, a parity transformation may rotate a state by any phase. Topic: <laughs> Classical mechanics. Newton's equation of motion F equals M A display style VEC F equals M VEC A if the mass is constant equates two vectors and hence is invariant under parity the law of gravity also involves only vectors and is also therefore invariant under parity however angular momentum L Display style VEC L is an axial vector L equals R times P display style VEC L equals VEC R times VEC P P carrot L equals minus R times minus P equals L display style hat P left VEC L right equals VEC R times VEC P equals VEC L in classical electrodynamics the charge density rho display style rho is a scalar the electric field e display style VEC e and current J display style VEC J are vectors but the magnetic field H display style VEC H is an axial vector however Maxwell's equations are invariant under parity because the curl of an axial vector is a vector topic <laughs> effect of spatial inversion on some variables of classical physics topic even classical variables predominantly scalar quantities which do not change upon spatial inversion include t display style t the time when an event occurs m display style m the mass of a particle e display style e the energy of the particle p Display style p power rate of work done rho display style rho the electric charge density v display style v the electric potential voltage rho display style rho energy density of the electromagnetic field l display style math bf l the angular momentum of a particle both orbital and spin axial vector b display style math bf b the magnetic field axial vector h display style math bf h the auxiliary magnetic field m display style math bf m the magnetization t i 
J display style T underscore I J Maxwell stress tensor all masses, charges, coupling constants, and other physical constants, except those associated with the weak force. Topic. Odd Classical variables, predominantly vector quantities, which have their sign flipped by spatial inversion include h the helicity phi display style phi the magnetic flux x display style math bf x the position of a particle in 3 space v display style math bf v the velocity of a particle a display style math bf a the acceleration of the particle p display style math bf p the linear momentum of a particle f display style math bf f the force exerted on a particle j display style math bf j the electric current density e display style math bf e the electric field d display style math bf d the electric displacement field p display style math bf p the electric polarization a display style math bf a the electromagnetic vector potential s display style math bf s pointing vector topic quantum mechanics Topic. Possible eigenvalues In quantum mechanics, spacetime transformations act on quantum states. The parity transformation p hat math call p is a unitary operator, in general acting on a state psi as follows p psi r equals e i phi 2 psi minus r display style hat math call p psi underscore left r right equals e caret frac i phi 2 psi underscore left r right one must then have p caret 2 psi r equals e i phi psi r display style hat math call p caret 2 psi underscore left r right equals e caret i phi psi underscore left r right since an overall phase is unobservable the operator p caret 2 Display style hat math call p caret two, which reverses the parity of a state twice, leaves the spacetime invariant, and so is an internal symmetry which rotates its eigenstates by phases. E i phi display style e caret i phi. If p caret two display style hat math call p caret two is an element. E I Q display style E caret I Q of a continuous U one symmetry group of phase rotations, then E minus I Q display style E caret I Q is part of this U one, and so is also a symmetry. In particular, we can define P caret P Carrot E minus I Q two display style hat math call P equiv hat math call P E carrot frac I Q two, which is also a symmetry, and so we can choose to call P carrot 
Display style hat math call p. Our parity operator instead of p caret two. Display style hat math call p caret two. Note that p caret two equals one. Display style hat math call p caret two equals one. And so p caret display style hat math call p has eigenvalues plus or minus one display style pm one wave functions with eigenvalue plus one under a parity transformation are even functions while eigenvalue minus one corresponds to odd functions however when no such symmetry group exists it may be that all parity transformations have some eigenvalues which are phases other than plus or minus 1 display style pm1 for electronic wave functions even states are usually indicated by a subscript g for gerade german even and odd states by a subscript u for ungerade german odd for example the lowest energy level of the hydrogen molecule ion h2+ is labeled 1 sigma g display style 1 sigma underscore g and the next closest higher energy level is labeled 1 sigma u display style 1 sigma underscore u the wave functions of a particle moving into an external potential which is centrosymmetric potential energy invariant with respect to a space inversion symmetric to the origin either remain invariable or change signs these two possible states are called the even state or odd state of the wave functions the law of conservation of parity of particle not true for the beta decay of nuclei states that if an isolated ensemble of particles has a definite parity then the parity remains invariable in the process of ensemble evolution the parity of the states of a particle moving in a spherically symmetric external field is determined by the angular momentum, and the particle state is defined by three quantum numbers, total energy, angular momentum and the projection of angular momentum. <laughs> Consequences of parity symmetry When parity generates the abelian group 2, one can always take linear combinations of quantum states such that they are either even or odd under parity see the figure. Thus the parity of such states is plus or minus 1. The parity of a multiparticle state is the product of the parities of each state, in other words parity is a multiplicative quantum number. In quantum mechanics, Hamiltonians are invariant symmetric under a parity transformation if p Display style hat math call p commutes with the Hamiltonian. In non-relativistic quantum mechanics, this happens for any potential which is scalar, i.e., v equals v r. Display style v equals v left r right. Hence, the potential is spherically symmetric. The following facts can be easily proven. If phi Display style left var phi right wrangle and psi display style left psi right wrangle have the same parity, then phi x caret psi equals zero display style left wrangle var phi right hat x left psi right wrangle equals zero, where x Carrot display style hat x is the position operator for a state L L Z display style left vec L L underscore Z right wrangle of orbital angular momentum L display style vec L with z axis projection L Z Display style l underscore z. Then p caret l l z equals minus one l l l z. 
Display style hat math call p left vec l l underscore z right wrangle equals left minus one right caret l left vec l l underscore z right wrangle. If h caret p caret equals zero display style left hat h hat p right equals zero then atomic dipole transitions only occur between states of opposite parity if h caret p caret equals zero display style left hat h hat p right equals zero then a non degenerate eigenstate of h caret display style hat h is also an eigenstate of the parity operator ie a non degenerate eigenfunction of h caret display style hat h is either invariant to p caret display style hat math call p or is changed in sign by p caret display style hat math call p some of the non degenerate eigenfunctions of h caret display style hat h are unaffected invariant by parity p caret display style hat math call p and the others will be merely reversed in sign when the hamiltonian operator and the parity operator commute p caret psi equals c psi display style hat math call p left psi right wrangle equals c left psi right wrangle where c display style c is a constant the eigenvalue of p caret display style hat math call p p caret 2 psi equals c p caret psi display style hat math call p caret 2 left psi right wrangle equals c hat math call p left psi right wrangle topic many particle systems atoms molecules nuclei The overall parity of a many-particle system is the product of the parities of the one-particle states. It is minus 1 if an odd number of particles are in odd parity states, and plus 1 otherwise. Different notations are in use to denote the parity of nuclei, atoms, and molecules. Atoms <inaudible> 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 Atomic orbitals have parity minus 1, where the exponent is the azimuthal quantum number. The parity is odd for orbitals p, f, with equals 1, 3, and an atomic state has odd parity if an odd number of electrons occupy these orbitals. For example, the ground state of the nitrogen atom has the electron configuration 1's 22's 22p3, and is identified by the term symbol 4 so, where the superscript O denotes odd parity. However the third excited term at about 83,300 cm-1 above the ground state has electron configuration 1's 22's 22p23's has even parity since there are only two 2p electrons, and its term symbol is 4p without an O superscript equals topic molecules equals only some molecules have a center of symmetry including all homonuclear diatomic molecules as well as certain symmetric molecules including ethylene benzene xenon tetrafluoride and sulfur hexafluoride for such centrosymmetric molecules, the parity each molecular orbital is either g or even or u or odd. An electronic state is u if and only if it contains an odd number of electrons in u orbitals. For molecules with no center of symmetry, including all heteronuclear diatomics as well as the majority of polyatomics, inversion is not a symmetry operation and the orbitals and states cannot be described as even or odd.
Topic: <laughs> Nuclei In atomic nuclei, the state of each nucleon proton or neutron has even or odd parity, and nucleon configurations can be predicted using the nuclear shell model. As for electrons in atoms, the nucleon state has odd overall parity if and only if the number of nucleons in odd parity states is odd. The parity is usually written as a plus even or odd following the nuclear spin value. For example the isotopes of oxygen include 17O 5 halves plus, meaning that the spin is 5 halves and the parity is even. The shell model explains this because the first 16 nucleons are paired so that each pair has spin 0 and even parity, and the last nucleon is in the 1D 5 halves shell which has even parity since. Equals 2 for a d orbital. Equals Topic Quantum field theory equals The intrinsic parity assignments in this section are true for relativistic quantum mechanics as well as quantum field theory. If we can show that the vacuum state is invariant under parity P caret 0 equals 0 Display style hat math call p left zero right wrangle equals left zero right wrangle. The Hamiltonian is parity invariant. H caret p caret display style left hat h hat math call p right. And the quantization conditions remain unchanged under parity. Then it follows that every state has good parity, and this parity is conserved in any reaction. To show that quantum electrodynamics is invariant under parity, we have to prove that the action is invariant and the quantization is also invariant. For simplicity we will assume that canonical quantization is used, the vacuum state is then invariant under parity by construction. The invariance of the action follows from the classical invariance of Maxwell's equations. The invariance of the canonical quantization procedure can be worked out, and turns out to depend on the transformation of the annihilation operator. Pa p plus or minus p plus equals minus a minus p plus or minus where p denotes the momentum of a photon and plus or minus refers to its polarization state. This is equivalent to the statement that the photon has odd intrinsic parity. Similarly all vector bosons can be shown to have odd intrinsic parity, and all axial vectors to have even intrinsic parity. There is a straightforward extension of these arguments to scalar field theories which shows that scalars have even parity, since Pa p p plus equals a minus p. This is true even for a complex scalar field. Details of spinors are dealt with in the article on the Dirac equation, where it is shown that fermions and antifermions have opposite intrinsic parity. With fermions, there is a slight complication because there is more than one spin group. Topic: <laughs> Parity in the standard model. Topic. Fixing the global symmetries In the standard model of fundamental interactions there are precisely three global internal U symmetry groups available, with charges equal to the baryon number B, the lepton number L and the electric charge Q. The product of the parity operator with any combination of these rotations is another parity operator. It is conventional to choose one specific combination of these rotations to define a standard parity operator, and other parity operators are related to the standard one by internal rotations. One way to fix a standard parity operator is to assign the parities of three particles with linearly independent charges B, L and Q. In general one assigns the parity of the most common massive particles, the proton, the neutron and the electron, to be plus one. Steven Weinberg has shown that if P2 Topic minus one f, where f is the fermion number operator. Then, since the fermion number is the sum of the lepton number plus the baryon number f, b plus l for all particles in the standard model, and since lepton number and baryon number are charges q of continuous symmetries E i q, it is possible to redefine the parity operator so that p two equals one. 
However, if there exist Majorana neutrinos, which experimentalists today believe is possible, their fermion number is equal to 1 because they are neutrinos while their baryon and lepton numbers are 0 because they are Majorana, and so F would not be embedded in a continuous symmetry group. Thus Majorana neutrinos would have parity plus or minus I. Equals. Topic: Parity of the pion. Equals. In 1954, a paper by William Schanowski and Jack Steinberger demonstrated that the pion has negative parity. They studied the decay of an atom made from a deuteron 21H+ and a negatively charged pion pi minus in a state with zero orbital angular momentum. L equals zero. Display style L equals zero into two neutrons. N display style N. Neutrons are fermions and so obey Fermi-Dirac statistics, which implies that the final state is anti-symmetric. Using the fact that the deuteron has spin 1 and the pion spin 0 together with the anti-symmetry of the final state, they concluded that the two neutrons must have orbital angular momentum. L equals 1. Display style L equals 1. The total parity is the product of the intrinsic parities of the particles and the extrinsic parity of the spherical harmonic function. Minus 1 L. Display style left minus 1 right caret L. Since the orbital momentum changes from 0 to 1 in this process, if the process is to conserve the total parity then the products of the intrinsic parities of the initial and final particles must have opposite sign. A deuteron nucleus is made from a proton and a neutron, and so using the aforementioned convention that protons and neutrons have intrinsic parities equal to plus 1 they argued that the parity of the pion is equal to minus the product of the parities of the two neutrons divided by that of the proton and neutron in the deuteron, explicitly minus 1 1 2 1 2 equals minus 1 display style frac minus 1 1 caret 2 1 caret 2 equals minus 1 Thus they concluded that the pion is a pseudoscalar particle. Topic: <inaudible> Parity violation. Although parity is conserved in electromagnetism, strong interactions and gravity, it turns out to be violated in weak interactions. The standard model incorporates parity violation by expressing the weak interaction as a chiral gauge interaction. Only the left-handed components of particles and right-handed components of antiparticles participate in weak interactions in the standard model. This implies that parity is not a symmetry of our universe, unless a hidden mirror sector exists in which parity is violated in the opposite way. By the mid-20th century, it had been suggested by several scientists that parity might not be conserved in different contexts, but without solid evidence these suggestions were not considered important. Then, in 1956, a careful review and analysis by theoretical physicists Sung Dao Li and Chen Ning Yang went further, showing that while parity conservation had been verified in decays by the strong or electromagnetic interactions, it was untested in the weak interaction. They proposed several possible direct experimental tests. They were mostly ignored, but Li was able to convince his Columbia colleague Qian Xiong Wu to try it. She needed special cryogenic facilities and expertise, so the experiment was done at the National Bureau of Standards. In 1957 Wu, East Ambler, R. W. Hayward, D. D. Hopps, and R. P. Hudson found a clear violation of parity conservation in the beta decay of cobalt-60. As the experiment was winding down, with double checking in progress, Wu informed Li and Yang of their positive results, and saying the results need further examination, she asked them not to publicize the results first. However, Li revealed the results to his Columbia colleagues on 4 January 1957 at a Friday lunch gathering of the Physics Department of Columbia. Three of them, R. L. Garwin, Leon Lederman, and R. Weinrich modified an existing cyclotron experiment, and they immediately verified the parity violation. 
They delayed publication of their results until after Wu's group was ready, and the two papers appeared back to back in the same physics journal. After the fact, it was noted that an obscure 1928 experiment had in effect reported parity violation in weak decays, but since the appropriate concepts had not yet been developed, those results had no impact. The discovery of parity violation immediately explained the outstanding tau theta puzzle in the physics of kaons. In 2010, it was reported that physicists working with the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider RHIC had created a short-lived parity symmetry breaking bubble in quark-gluon plasmas. An experiment conducted by several physicists including Yale's Jack Sandweiss as part of the STAR collaboration, suggested that parity may also be violated in the strong interaction. <laughs> Intrinsic parity of hadrons. To every particle one can assign an intrinsic parity as long as nature preserves parity. Although weak interactions do not, one can still assign a parity to any hadron by examining the strong interaction reaction that produces it, or through decays not involving the weak interaction, such as rho meson decay to pions. See also Electroweak theory Standard model Mirror matter <laughs>